Good morning, happy Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to just record a really short video here. Um, this is my chainsaw chain. I have a Husqvarna 420, 430, something, something like that. It, it's a small chainsaw. And um, when your chain starts wearing out, the little pins that hold all the links together start to wear out and some slack starts to form. This one here isn't very bad. There's just a little bit of play. So it's enough to where I cannot tighten the chain anymore so it hangs real loose. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten it. And the way that I shorten it is I, I take, take a link and I use an angle grinder and just slowly and carefully grind the top of this rivet pin, whatever you want to call it, down to the uh, link, down to the flat part of the link. Then I'll show you what I do after that. Okay, once I, I grind that down, you can almost see the circle imprint in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to my vise here. And I'm just lay it in here. And then I'm going to drive my punch through there and drive that pin out. I'll take this flat one and start tapping it. And sometimes, sometimes you will have to grind it a little more because you haven't grinded enough. It looks like I might have it okay. You will have to split your, uh, or adjust your vise to where it will sit right in the middle of that that link. I might even have to put that a little bigger. Oh yeah, there, there you go. That'll work now. I had a larger vise, but my son cleaned, or a, a larger drift punch, but my son, uh, you know, sons and how they like to help out. Well, this one got stuck in there. This one's a little bit too big for these links. The one I was using before, my son just cleaned my truck for me and he cleaned it out. And now I can't find that and he says he can't remember where it's at and stuff. I hate losing tools. So now all I have to do is pry this up a little more, this link a little bit more. to where it will come out and, uh, swing open kind of so now with that out like that i should be able to uh, i might have to swing it out a little more but just grab a pair of pliers and once you get it out this far it tends to be pretty easy to maneuver there you go just pop that baby off just like that pop that baby on there just like that put put this piece back over that the link back in now i have to compress it because you see how it kind of bent out like that i got to compress it to where that's back in the hole okay so i've worked it back in there and now i'll spread it out a little bit all right guys as you can see i've spread it spread that pin out a little bit and as long as it moves fine and your 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 count is the same, you should have no problem at all. Just take out enough links to where the blade is equally away from each other, just like that. And in some cases, I've had two blades on one side because of the link I chose to take, which is not a big deal, but it is it is common practice to have a blade on each side. Every other blade is faced a different way. That helps with the cut. <laughs> All right. Now that's the way it's supposed to be. I didn't realize until I had it laying here and I was looking at it through the camera that I had it flipped around. The blades were on the inside. That's not going to work, guys. So that's part of the downfall of uh, working a camera while you're doing something like this. You get distracted. But uh, anyway, the, the the process is the same. That link is, is now pinched in there something whatever you want to call it and uh, we're ready to go and this will work for another two or three times uh, but anyway guys uh, that's how you shorten your chain so that you can use it again and again
So, all right, guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up so that uh, others can see and share in the experience. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, stay free, get your work done.